Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years. It is Monday, which means it is time for a live vintage sale. And we are super, super, super excited because, man, do we have some awesome stuff for you guys tonight. I have pulled out. I, I wish you guys could, like, I hope people understand the, like, the links that I go through to find items, you know, because when there's no shed, when I don't have my honey hole, I, I got to go because I don't want to just bring you guys anything. I got to bring you guys something special every week because you guys show up every week. And so it makes me happy to see everybody here. Um, I know there's a lot of other things on YouTube that everybody could be watching, but you guys you know, you decide to come here and party with us. So we are thoroughly thankful for you. And I, hopefully you guys feel like I am rewarding you all with nothing but awesomeness because I mean, to tell you guys the truth, we have got some very unique stuff. I have one piece in here that is from 1902. I have <clears throat> three or four items that you won't even be able to find on eBay. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am uh, because I'm excited. Um, unfortunately, Josie will not be with us tonight. Um, she's been, she's got a lot of work going on right now. So she's, she's been tied up on Mondays, unfortunately, but eventually she will be back. My Dukes though is in the building. Yep, yep, yep. My Dukes is here. So uh, we are going to say some hellos to the lovely people in the chat um, and then we are going to go over the rules and the regulations, and then we will get the party started. Shout out to all 35 people who are watching right now between YouTube and Facebook. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up while you guys are here, because it definitely does help get this stream out to the YouTube universe um, as we continue to try and grow this sale and grow this channel. Uh, we do appreciate all of you who are here. So, Let's scroll the chat back to Zach, who is here at 9.40 a.m. with thumbs up. Look, <laughs> StreamYard's guide, StreamYard's added the timestamps to the chat now, so that's pretty awesome. Always wonderful and amazing. Michelle is in the building. What's going on, Michelle? Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. She says, yay, the internet is back. Did she have a thunderstorm? You you must have had a thunderstorm. I think she's in Virginia. So yeah, because yeah, we had we just had a, a quick little uh, doozy of a storm roll by here. So I definitely know what's going on with the the rain and the thunder and the lightning. Uh, what is the? There's a couple of thunder and lightning songs. Knock on wood. That's that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Thunder, lightning. The way you love me is exciting. That's Think the general. Yeah. I would. <laughs> and then, uh, then you got a little, uh, little harder rock when you got uh, uh, ACDC. I don't know that. Song. I played that song for you the other day. Remember? <laughs> All right. Leona Moscato is in the building. What's going on, Leona? Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Auntie Christy is here. Hello, Auntie Christy. Thank you. Chicago ladies in the building. Lynn Fogel. What's going on, Lynn? Lois. Good to see you, Lois. Hope all is well. Sue Pal. Checking in from Florida. And everybody's favorite YouTube comedian, Chat Casey Addicts. Carrie, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it as always. Pam's Eclectic Place. Pam, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. And one of our favorites, I know I say it every week, but she really is one of our favorites. Amber Resells is in the building. Thank you, Amber, for joining us. We always appreciate you popping in and saying hello. Christina Dugan. What's going on, Christina? Thank you for coming by. We appreciate it. Pete's Repeats is in the building. What's going on, Pete? Great to see you. 
And my man Tommy from the Tommy Bernhard podcast says, winner, winner. I'm about to eat some stroganoff for dinner. So Tommy and Tracy are back. Um, they got a couple of shows coming up soon. If you guys aren't subscribed to the Tommy Bernhard podcast, I highly suggest you do it. It's a very raw, uncut um, but very informative, um, real reseller and non-reseller chat. So um, Tommy and Tracy were, have been, you know, looking out for me for many, 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 many uh, moons. So I can't thank them enough as always. I think they have, um, they're going to be live tomorrow with, um, oh, what's my man's name? I forget his name already, um, but he was on before. He sells clothes and he is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it was a really great uh, show the last time he was on. So I'm excited to watch that again. And then later up this month, I believe they have John, the Cincinnati picker on. So it's going to be a bunch of uh, really great guests coming up soon. So Lynn Fogel says, hi, Barb Lee is in the building. Sally Koska, welcome, Sally. I believe this is your first time here. Larry, Larry Riley's in the building. Trisha, Sandy and Otto, another amazing YouTube channel who has great sales. My Dukes is hooked on uh, Trisha's live sales. She's always giving me updates when I can't watch. So shout out to Trisha. Irene is in the building, checking in from Ohio. And Sue Golombeski, what's going on, Sue? Great to see you. Thanks for coming by. And let's see who else we have in the building. Dana from Grace 2010H, great to see you. Thanks for coming on through. We appreciate it. The man, Harry Humstone, is in the building. What's going on, Harry? Hey. Hope you're doing well. Viking Treasure Horde says, hello, Tim and my Dukes. Thank you for joining us. Sheila's in the building. What's going on, Sheila? Hope you're doing well. And Angela's here. What's going on? Thank you, as always, for all that you do. That There it is, Thunderstruck. You've been. Thunderstruck. Bow, wow. I always think of uh, Varsity Blues when I hear that song. <laughs> oh, man. So Proud American is here as well. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it, as always. Glenn the Swamp Picker is in the building. What's going on, Glenn? Hope you're doing well. Tommy laughs when I say informative. <laughs> it's true, Tommy. It just might not be the information that everybody else finds informative. <laughs> But I, I find it informative. Yes, 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 yes. Um, who Swap else? Picker. Who else? I said hello to you Glenn. Did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, Sonia? Yeah, we're going to be uh, our football podcast. I had a conversation with Authentic uh, last week. We're putting the wheels into motion, so we're excited for that. Um, just uh, getting everything ready. The first preseason for the football season is on Thursday, so we're going to be back real soon. So we're super excited for that, for sure. Sonia is here. How you doing, Sonia? Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Mr. L. Mr. L. Page is here. Garth Brooks and the Thunder Rolls. That's a good one. We, we're, we're letting them all roll in. And Amber says that was the song that came to mind for her. Look at that. You see, you get a little bit of everything when you come to over the years. And last but certainly not least, big shout out to my man Michael Shad Juice, who just hit a milestone on his YouTube page. So big congratulations for that. Definitely well deserved. Um, you've always been somebody that I enjoy watching. Um, I got to meet him in person. So congratulations on that milestone. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a sip of this drink, and then we're going to go over the rules and regulations. <sighs> got to get, you know, got to get amped up because y'all know as soon as I finish this, this live, I take all this stuff downstairs and I start packing immediately. And it usually takes me about two to two to three hours, three hours. Let's be realistic. The first like hour and a half, I'm like killing it. And then, like, the last, like, hour and a half, I'm just like, yeah, maybe I can pack those two tomorrow morning. And then I'm like, nah, 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 I got to get it done tonight. So, all right. So, the way that this whole thing works. So, first of all, we are shipping from the state of Maryland, for those of you that don't know. Um, we do do our best to keep your shipping costs as low as possible without sacrificing the safety and integrity of your items. Uh 
And if you do win an item, make sure that you email your YouTube name, your real name, and your PayPal email along with your mailing address to the email that's scrolling across the bottom of the screen. It is also pinned at the top of the chat in YouTube. Um, that way we can get you your invoices sent out as soon as we finish packing, which will probably be in the middle of the night tonight. Uh, if you have any questions at any point in time, please do not hesitate to ask. We'll be more than happy to guide you through each and every item. Uh, so the way that this works is I will show you an item. And then after I show you that item, I will show you a card. That card will have a price on it. I will then reveal a number. The first person that puts this number in the chat will win the item. Now remember, it is the first person that we see in our chat because it might look different on your end because of internet lag. Make sure that you guys have it on live chat and not top chat because that is going to help you. And refresh if need be. Make sure that you type in the correct number because no typos will be allowed. Um, I think... That covers all the bases. Tracy's in the building. Tracy, we were talking about you and Tommy not too long ago. I'm glad to see you are back on the saddle. Um, uh, we missed you, as always. So it's great to see that you are back in the mix. All right. So um, <laughs> uh, Tommy says, can we choose? Only being able to drop from five stories instead of 12 to save on shipping. No, we treat all of our items as if they will be dropped from 12 stories. And look who just popped in. My man, Julian, the bearded thrift machine. This dude, let me tell you, he is the man. And he just picked up an awesome piece of uranium glass. And uh, I'm glad to see that, Julian. Uh, I'm glad to see that I'm rubbing off a little bit on you, buddy. Uh, he's got an awesome channel as well. So make sure you guys are... Um, Subscribe to Julian, the bearded thrift machine, my bearded brother. Uh, case, uh, Carrie, I saw you asked about owls. We do not have any owls tonight, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we are always looking for owls for you. Don't worry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's everything. 56 people here. That's great. We're going to get this party started. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And let's rock and let's roll what are, what are we going to do first we're going to start off with one of the beauties this is a beauty check out this absolutely gorgeous fenton glass iridescent blue so this is not just your regular blue it's got some iridescence to it very carnival-esque as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous uh this was made by fenton glass uh, it does not have the sticker. This was a piece that would have had a sticker. Um, it's in their later years of production, but um, there are still things that uh, they didn't actually physically mark. Uh, this one is really awesome because of the, so much detail that has gone into this piece, even to like these little beads that go all the way up the neck of the swan. Uh, you can see the detail in the feathers there. And like I said, it does have a absolutely gorgeous iridescence to it. Uh, and it is can be used for whatever um, you want to. I mean, I guess technically it is like a little trinket bowl, candy disc sort of thing. This piece does measure from beak to tail to be four and three-fourths inches. And at its tallest point is three and three-fourths inches tall. Um, and this absolutely gorgeous Fenton iridescent blue glass swan dish can be yours for an absolutely low price of only $13 if you give me number four. Number four for $13 gets you the Fenton Glass Iridescent Blue Swan. An absolutely gorgeous piece at a really low price. I love this. Congratulations to Sue Powell. You are the winner. Winner, winner. Don't eat swans for dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party.
All right, all right, all right. You guys might have seen this piece in one of my Instagram posts. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is a really, I mean, this blue is like an electric blue, right? Yeah, electric cool. blue. Uh, this piece with the light coming through it is absolutely gorgeous. And you can see it does have this sort of optic squirrel that goes all the way around the piece. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous, a stunning shape, and a really just standout color to me. I love the optic. I love the color. This is just something that is not anything crazy out of this world, but it is what cat. It is not crackle glass. No, no crackle glass. It is optic. So it just has like this sort of optic swirl that starts out really wide at the bottom, and as you get further up the picture it gets smaller and smaller uh, that really nice. yeah it is absolutely gorgeous it's an electric blue <laughs> peacocky blue too for sure definitely uh it does measure to be five and a quarter inches tall definitely something that would look absolutely amazing if you have it sitting in your windowsill in a place where there's a lot of natural light gorgeous piece it can be yours in your windowsill for the absolutely low price of only $13 if you give me number 12. Number 12 for $13 gets you this absolutely gorgeous peacock electric blue optic swirl picture. Definitely a must have for the windowsill. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this piece. Number 12 for $13. And this electric peacock blue pitcher can be yours. Congratulations to Sue Powell. You are the winner, 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 electric blue dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Back to the party. Back to the party. You know, it is a little bit like the It is very, it is very close to the blue of the swan. So definitely a nice little uh combination there. What's going on, Steve O? Hope you're doing well, brother. All right, where did I grab that from there? Right. Okay, this next piece is one of these pieces that I was not able to find another one exactly like it. Uh, it is very, very interesting. So this is almost like a, it's like cased glass, but it's also almost, I, I don't know how to describe it. So it is this gorgeous sort of celadon green. green on the outside, but you have this sort of really forest emerald green on the inside. So it is cased glass. And it, what's very interesting is that it has a very similar shape to a vase, a specific vase that Anchor Hawking used to make. So I thought maybe, you know, it, it was along those lines, but it is, it is still different from the Anchor Hawking vase. And you can see, like, it has these sort of, like, divots on the inside of the rims. Absolutely really, really unique piece. Definitely something that you will not see. Um, like I said, it is like a celadon green on the outside, and on the inside, it is a emerald forest green. It looks blue on the, uh, it's yeah. not blue. It's not blue. I know it looks a little powder blue. It is definitely like a seafoam green on the outside. The outside casing is like a seafoam green. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm glad to hear that. It is an awesome Viking glasses, really nice stuff. So yeah, one of a kind green case glass vase. I mean, it is just stunning. The 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 contrast in the greens is fabulous. You really have that. Think of that together looking good, but it does. Yeah, you have that forest emerald green on the inside and the sea foam green on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and like I said, one of a kind. I was not able to find anything like it. Uh, it does measure to be a pinch over three and a quarter inches. And this one of a kind sea foam cased emerald forest green base can be yours for the low price of only $15. If you give me number eight, number eight for $15 gets you this one of a kind sea foam green cased emerald forest green green vase. Absolutely amazing piece here. 
Definitely a one of a kind. And Grace has it. Congratulations to Dana. You are the winner, winner, winner. Green on green dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Cricket Harrington's in the building. What's going on, Cricket? Hope you're doing well. Great to see you as always. All right. Up next, we have a really interesting piece. So this does not glow before everybody gets excited. It does not glow. Um, this is a gorgeous sort of lime green marble slag going on here. Lime, it's too light. It, well, it's a little lighter than lime. Like a lime but sickle. Lime sickle, says my dukes. What's going on, Bill? Bill's in the building. What's up, Bill? Bill forever. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that, Auntie Christy. I'm going to have to check that back out. So, yes, here we have a green marble slag hobnail ruffled vase bowl. And look at that inside. Oh, it it's covers all the bases. Yeah. So this is actually made by Kanawha Glass. Um, typically, you would see more of these made by Kanawha in their blue marble. You do not see a lot of the green marble. The green marble tends to sell for a lot more um high in the price range than the blue marble does because you don't see so much so much of it what's going on michelle thank you for joining us so yes absolutely gorgeous green marble slag hobnail ruffled bowl vase now there is a little bit of damage to it on the inside um there is a it's a crack right here. I don't know if you could see it. There, you should be able to see it right here. So there is a crack right there. Um, but from the outside, you can't really and see it. it. Blends right in with yeah, the it, it, that's the thing is like it's tough to see because it blends in with the pattern. Otherwise, I probably would have had to list this for a lot higher, um, just because you don't really see of that many of these pieces. Yes, Kanawha was made in West Virginia. It is one of the West Virginia glass companies, Pilgrim, Kanawha, Fenton, um, who am I missing? Blanco, am I missing anybody? Oh, I can't think yeah, of a lot of those, those are all West Virginia. Most of those companies are West Virginia. They're um, still in business, but it's not. I don't think any of them are. So you can have this green, Marble, slag. Oh, yeah, let me measure it for you really fast. It measures to be at its widest point about six and a half inches. At its tallest point, three and a half inches. And this bowl can be key lime pie. This yeah, bowl can be yours for the, <laughs> the absolutely low price of only $13 if you give me number three. Number three for thirteen dollars gets you the key lime pie hob nail bowl. I mean, this is an absolutely beauty. Look at this piece, amazing! Congratulations to Michelle. You are the winner, winner, winner. Key lime pie dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right, all right, all right. Okay, this is one of my. My my, I like these a lot. I just I think they're 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 just different. And I'm a di I'm very different. I'm I'm sure most of you guys have noticed that. And people who like different, they keep coming back. Um, because I'm not like everybody else that you see on YouTube selling vintage stuff or selling anything. I'm a wild. I'm a wild card. But that's why you guys like me, right? Hello. So. Dana's waiting on them warm glasses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Don't worry. You missed them that one time. I had them. I brought them out, and I was like, I'm bringing watermelon glasses, and then I didn't see you that night. But I'm always looking for watermelon. Trust me. I love watermelon. All right. Up next, what's going on, Sal? Sal Mercado is in the building. Sal just dropped a new video on his YouTube channel, so if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys definitely go subscribe to Sal's Mercado and watch his latest video. So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. We got salt and pepper shakers. They are horses. There's two different horses. Each horse is different. I just realized that just now. Got a little bit of a different different horse on, on this side. Much. Not much, but there's little so, subtle differences. Yeah. 
and they are salt and pepper shakers, but they get what's really awesome is they get really southwesty. Check that out. Look at that southwest vibe going on there. Oh, these are rad. So you have that sort of southwest pattern on both sides of the salt and pepper shakers. Um, they do have their stoppers on them. They are not marked. They are definitely super unique, though. Um, I, once again, this is something that I was not able to find another pair of. Uh, but I just love this sort of <laughs> got you, Dana. That you just have this lovely Southwest vibe going on the sides. I mean, they are gorgeous. So the shakers do measure to be about three, three and a quarter inches tall, and they are about one and three fourths inches, uh, you know, in depth. And you can have the pair of these horseshoe salt and pepper shakers with the Southwest vibe sides for only $11 if you give me number 13. Number 13 for $11 gets you the horseshoe Southwest vibe salt and pepper shakers. Absolutely awesome. Congratulations to Bill. You are the man, Bill. Winner, winner, Southwest taco dinner congratulations and welcome to the party all right now this is a really interesting piece okay so typically you know you see these occupied in japan pieces and this one is interesting to me because it does have that sort of clay bottom to it okay so you see this sort of clay ceramic bottom where it is marked made in occupied Japan. But this is just this sort of little, it is like a chocolate, dark chocolate brown miniature vase with flowers on it. If it'll focus, there it goes. And it only has the flowers on one side. It's got a little bit of detail here on the sides. Black or chocolate brown? It's chocolate brown. I, I think it's chocolate brown. Look at that. It's chocolate brown. You gonna you can't tell? It's chocolate, it's chocolate brown. She don't trust me. It's chocolate brown. So we have this cute, adorable, made in occupied Japan, chocolate brown, little miniature vase with the flowers hand painted on it. Absolutely adorable. Very interesting colors. Like I said, you don't I don't see a lot of that made in occupied Japan. <laughs> on that uh, clay base like I, like this one has. Um, it does measure to be three inches tall and it can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $9 if you give me number 21. Number 21 for $9 gets you this little adorable made in occupied Japan miniature flower vase with the hand painted flowers on the front with the made in occupied Japan clay bottom marking very interesting piece, only nine dollars. Number 21 and overtime. <clears throat> All right, up next is going to be our first glow item of the night, but it's not green, it is oh, gorgeous. I mean, what's that? What is what color is that? Honeysuckle? It's really uh uh it's not even it's lighter than honey. It's just an amazingly golden color. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that pattern, the way that that like just glistens and goes around. I mean, look at the the handle is the applied glass. Look at it from the inside. Ooh. Oh, baby, look at that. How gorgeous is this piece? You want me to uh, yeah. show your glow? We'll show the glow really says. quick, and then I'll give everybody a little bit more uh, information on the item. The right one? I do have the right one. Oh, man. Look at that baby glow. Ooh. Like lava. It is definitely like lava. Wow. And the handle, too. It all glows. Absolutely stunning piece here, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo! 
just get up close there for you so you can see that. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. So this um, piece is made by Indiana Glass Company. Uh, the name of the pattern is Montecillo or Monticello. I don't really know. I gotta... Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let's see. So the tallest point on the handle is seven and a quarter inches. And the basket itself is about six and a half inches by six inches. And it can be yours for the absolutely insane low price of only $17 if you give me number two. Number two for $17 gets you this absolutely amazing amber, just gorgeous glow in the black light. Congratulations to Pete. You are the winner. Winner, winner. Monticello dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. Okay, this is another one of my favorite pieces of the evening. So here we have this sort of super mid-century modern piece of ceramic uh, pottery with this very mid-century modern glaze. But it had this sort of pink glaze going on, and you have it on the handle, the base here. Now, it looks like there was a marking at some point in time on that base, but it has worn off. I will say that the shape, overall shape and design of this piece reminds me a lot of something Russell Wright would have done for Steubenville. Uh, what's going on, Gabrielle? Great to see you. Uh, so shape and design gives me a total Russell, White, Russell Wright vibe. Like he used to do this. Uh, he had a whole collection that he made for Steubenville, and it just totally gives me that vibe. But I cannot identify the marking on that base, but I mean, just this shape alone with the color scheme going on, look at that. Absolutely amazing. I love this piece. I find it to be super unique, very different, which is what I like. Um, and then you can really see that glaze is absolutely gorgeous on that. It does measure at its tallest point to be a pinch over five inches. Uh, and it can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $13 if you give me number six. Number six for $13 gets you this absolutely gorgeous mid-century modern pink and blue glazed creamer pitcher. Definitely has that Russell Wright vibe. Absolutely gorgeous colorway, shape, design. Everything about it is just very unique, very different, very awesome. I cannot say enough about how much I love this piece. Gorgeous, fabulous. And we'll take it to overtime. What's going on, Leroy? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. If you guys don't know Blood, Sweat, and Cell, that is Leroy. He is the man. That is Bad Bad Leroy Brown. Brown or Bad Bad Leroy Blood. What's going on, brother? Great to see you. All right. Um, so next up, we are going to do this absolutely awesome turtle, art glass turtle paperweight. So I really love the bottom of it. Look at the design on the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is a nice big sucker right here. And you can see him. It's like a sea turtle. Now, unfortunately, the this, uh, what do you, I guess you call it an arm flipper, flipper arm flipper has uh, been broke off there. Um, and you can see the difference in the two. But if, you know, when you're displaying it, if you're displaying it like this, you know, you'd never be able to, to tell. But it's definitely a really awesome sea turtle. and it's unfortunate because I probably would have sold this online for a lot more. Um, I just love that base on it. Yeah, that's that's super rad, right? Definitely a sea turtle. Um, but arm flipper, yes. We're going to go with arm flipper, Gabrielle. <laughs> <laughs> but a really awesome sea turtle uh, art glass paperweight. Uh, it does measure from... Yeah, it's got some nice weight to it for sure. Uh, from head to tail, I guess it has tails, five inches. 
And from arm flipper to arm flipper is about four and a half inches. And this absolutely gorgeous, full of character, art glass sea turtle paperweight can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $11. If you give me number 19, number 19 for $11, gets you this full of character art glass Sea turtle paperweight. Congratulations to Sally Koska. Congratulations, winner, winner, arm flipper dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Uh, Sally, if this is your first time, I believe, buying from us, uh, make sure you send your information to the email that's scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Uh, we would, uh, by the end of the show, we get ready to get packing and send out invoices. So, congratulations and welcome to the party. Yes. I am a marine biologist for sure. Yeah, see, listen, that this I like the way Michelle thinks because for me, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, this that's why I said he's full of character because you know he Make was Nat Geo yeah, National Geographic story. I mean, like, you know, he could have he was trying to find Nemo, but he got, you know, he got into a little yeah. scuffle with, with a with a shark. Um, you know, he was inside Moby Dick, but came out eventually. Moby Dick was the name of the whale, right? Yeah, that's like an old school. Story. Yeah, well, I mean, he's he's old school. He's got soul. He's missing half of his arm flipper. What's going on, Eric? Obx Pickers in the building. Great to see you, brother, my man. If you guys aren't subscribed, another channel you gotta be subscribed to is Obx Picker. One of my best buds on this YouTube reselling world and in real life. Great, absolute, all-around good guy. He's a survivor. Indeed. Speaking of Flipper and a nod to our earlier chat, who is faster than lightning? Uh -oh. Th thunder is faster than lightning? No, it's somebody. <clears throat> somebody, something, faster than lightning. My Dukes, you got to be on this. This is what you – My Dukes, you got to answer the trivia question. All right, up next is one of our highlighted featured items of the sale. And, oh, this is a beauty. Yep. This is best. a beauty. So here we have a Fenton Longtail Bird of Happiness. It is marked Fenton on the inside of the wing, as you can see right there. And what's really unique about this piece is its opalescence. You see the opalescence on the top right there, and you see it right there in the head. The last one of these to sell on eBay sold for $60. This is a really hard-to-find color of the long-tail bird of happiness made by Fenton Glass. This is the sea mist opalescent color. And I mean, just look at the opalescence as it turns. I mean, this is a one of a kind find, absolutely beautiful. I believe there are none of these listed in this color currently right now. Um, but you guys know, for those of you that don't know, all of this stuff is brand new in my inventory. It has not been listed yet. I give everybody in my live sale first opportunity at these pieces. And this is, it does not glow, no. Uh, does not glow. No glow to it. Um, that was one of the first things I checked. Uh, but yeah, it is an absolutely stunning piece of glass artwork. And like I said, that opalescence on this. Oh, look at it as it turns right there. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. So this from... Its tail to its head measures to be about six inches. At its tallest point of the tail, it is four and a half inches. And I'm going to give you guys a steal of a deal. This is one of the first big steal of a deals of the night. It can be yours for almost 50% off of the listing price. $33 if you give me number 25. Number 25 for $33 gets you the Fenton Glass Opalescent Seamus. Congratulations to Jackie Wedas. You are the winner, 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 Opalescent Seamus Dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Great to see you, Jackie Wedas. 
That is that's a steal of a deal. That's a great that's a great buy right there. All right, we got the bird from up here. Yeah. All right, up next, this is another really nice piece. Okay, thank you, Jackie. So here we have an absolutely gorgeous. This is made by Westmoreland Glass. So Westmoreland Glass, and this is their satin line. So this is called Blue Mist. It is a blue satin glass. This is the lotus pattern. This is a candlestick. So here you have the Westmoreland Glass Blue Mist Satin Glass Lotus Candle Stick. Absolutely gorgeous piece here. Definitely uh, a, like something you could do a lot with on this as far as decor wise goes. And I love how it has this open handle right there. Um, it has the Lotus on the base, as you can see. And then the lotus on the top, and then you put your candle right in there. You can almost put other little things around the candle area too. Absolutely so cool. gorgeous. Oh wait, we missed the winner to the riddle. Oh, it was Flipper. It was that right, Flipper? It was Flipper. Lynn, got, Lynn, Lynn Fogel got it. <clears throat> Flipper. Congratulations, Lynn. But absolutely gorgeous Westmoreland glass blue satin mist. Lotus candlestick holder, absolutely phenomenal, gorgeous, and it measures to be four inches tall, and it is five inches wide on the top and three inches wide on the base, and it can be yours. You can light the candle yourself for only $13 if you give me number 11. Number 11 for $13 gets you the Westmoreland Glass Blue Satin Mist Lotus Candle Stick Holder. <clears throat> Congratulations to Lynn Fogel. You are the winner, 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 Blue Mist Lotus Dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. <clears throat> Moving along. Up next, we have... Uh, I've, I talked about this a little bit in the previous show, but I love these. This is a Noritake made in Japan nut dish. And when you get these sort of, I don't know, landscapes, I guess you could say, on these pieces made in, in Japan and, and during this time period, when they are intact, it is just something that is just beautiful to look at. I mean, if I just put this up on the full screen, it looks like you're looking at an oil painting. It doesn't even do the justice the, to the color of the purple. Yeah, the purple that comes along right it's here on the like, handle. It's almost like a periwinkle. It's, really a it's lavender. It, it, it's definitely really lavender. And if you really get into it, you can see there's like little blue flowers on top of the lavender mountains and then you have the trees and you have the water and the beach i mean it is gorgeous even the details on the handles an absolutely wonderful nut dish here sorry about that waterfly i know washington redskins and it is marked on the back Morataki, made in japan uh the dish itself measures to be Seven and a quarter inches handle to handle by four and a half inches the other way. And this dish can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $13 if you give me number 10. Number 10 for $13. That's a steal of a deal on a plate that is in this good of condition. An absolutely beauty here. Number 10 for $13 can get you this absolutely gorgeous Noritake made in Japan nut dish with a beautiful landscape painting on the dish. Mm -hmm. Over time. All right. Where'd that come from? <clears throat> Yeah. All right. Up next is going to be another one of our featured items for tonight's live sale. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. It is, it is even more beautiful than you can imagine. This is more of a, it is a little bit more red than what you're seeing in the picture. You're, what you're seeing on the screen looks a little bit oranger than what it really is in real life. 
It, it is more red, just so everybody knows. Um, this is an absolutely gorgeous uh, hand-blown, made in Italy, mid-century modern, ewer, pitcher, vase. It is out of this world. Um, and you can see it does have its original sticker on there that says made in Italy. And there's the bottom. And yes, this does have a little bit of glow to it as well. And I will show you the glow. So here on the base, you can see it's got a nice glow on the base. And then you get a little bit of glow around the lip. But most of the glow is around the base, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous orange on that base that glows. Fabulous. And it does measure to be at its tallest point, about 13 inches tall. <laughs> OBX Booker says, uh, I just had chills thinking about me trying to ship that vase. <laughs> so, yes, an absolutely amazing, one-of-a-kind piece. And listen, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I paid up a little bit for this vase, and I'm still giving you guys one hell of a deal because I'm listing this piece for probably $75 to $100. But I'm going to give it to you guys tonight for the absolutely low price of $35 if you give me Number one. Number one for $35 gets you the made in Italy mid-century modern pitcher ewer vase. A gorgeous, one-of-a-kind piece. Congratulations to Dugan. You are the winner, winner, winner. It's a beautiful ewer dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. Up next, we're going to do a little bit more glow. Let's get the glow. Let's get the glowing. Showing glowing. Um, here we have a gorgeous uranium glass, super simple, super elegant, heart-handled serving tray. Now, this is a little serving tray, perfect for cheese and crackers. Uh, this guy does measure to be six inches wide and at its tallest point to be about three and three fourths inches. I love the heart handles. Um, they are just, it is just super clean, well-made, very different. Let's go ahead and show the glow. Oh yeah. That's a beauty. And it's got a lot of glow to it, too, as you can see. I'll go ahead and look at that. Oh, it's a gorgeous one. Look at that handle. Woo! Gorgeous. So this, my dude's over here chewing on a... <laughs> this uranium glass, heart-handled, elegant, tidbit dish can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $15. If you give me number seven, number seven for $15 gets you the uranium glass heart handled tidbit tray. Absolutely gorgeous, simple, oh. elegant, beautiful. Congratulations to Gabrielle. You are the winner, 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 heart center dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Well, we're going back to back to back, Jack, on the glows. So earlier, I did show you guys that beautiful Fenton glass iridescent swan. Up next is another beautiful Fenton glass iridescent swan. This one is green. And look at the beautiful iridescence on this, the detail on this. It is absolutely gorgeous. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it does glow. Are you ready? Oh, Woo. look at the glow on that bad boy. <laughs> look like you getting ready to fight Superman with this piece. I mean, the yeah, I mean, it is, it is. Woo. The glow on that is amazing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And same measurements as the other one. Beak to tail is about four and three fourths mm -hmm. inches. Um, height is about four inches. And this beautiful Fenton glass, uranium glass, iridescence, almost like carnival glass swan, can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $17 if you give me number five. Whoa, uh, Number five for seventeen dollars gets you this beautiful Fenton uranium glass swan. Congratulations to Sal! You are the winner, winner, winner. Glow with your swan dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party, Sal. All right. <sighs> Up next is another one of our featured pieces of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of those pieces that you're just not going to be able to find every day, yet alone find every day at this price point. This is from the year 1902. This is made by Westmoreland Glass Company. This is a blue opaline, almost like a blue milk glass. It's a little, it's not as it looks a little bit, it looks a little bit more. I don't know, the color's pretty on point. All right. Yeah, it looks and funny. you have this that you can see the opalescence in the handle there. If it'll focus. It won't focus. There it goes. Still has some of the gold paint on the dish from its original. I mean, just an absolute stunning piece. What's even more more remarkable about that everything is there's nothing wrong with it. Um, this piece is well over a hundred years old. No chips, no dings, no food bites, no nothing. Well over a hundred years old, and it is just designed to perfection. It is, yeah, the handle alone is fabulous. And I mean, look at the beating on the, the beating on the lid, too. And like I said, this is from the year 1902. It is called Three Fingers and Panel. Um, it's also known as AKA name is um, uh, what is it? Scrolled Medallion. Um, there is another company that made other <clears throat> products with that same name around the same time frame it was a glass company called clouder sport glass so you might see some of these pieces also be attributed to clouder sport glass but this one in this color it's just none out there right now you're not going to be able to find this piece right now anywhere but here and that's what we like to do for you guys so it does measure to the top of the lid to be five and a quarter inches tall. Um, width wise, it is about four and a half by three and three fourths. And it can be yours for an absolutely insane low price of only $29 if you give me number nine. Number nine for $29 gets you this antique 1902 Westmoreland glass, blue opaline, three fingers in panel, sugar bowl. Congratulations to Christina Dugan. You are the winner, 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 three finger dinner. Congratulations and welcome back to the party. All right. Up next. Oh. Oh, the simplicity. Simplicity. Of this. Oh, yes. Up next, we have an absolutely gorgeous Murano glass bowl. Simple yet complex, just like a aged Italian wine. And it has its sticker right there, made in Italy, Murano. And look at that. Look at the swirls. swirls. Look at the swirls. And you have that clear edging right there. Just a very, very gorgeous. White goes with everything. Yeah. Gorgeous piece of Murano glass. You know, this bowl typically sells right now online for anywhere between $35 and $45. 
And I love it when you find a piece like this that still has a sticker on it because, you know, it just makes things a little bit easier on you because Murano is just one of those things that's super tough to deal with. Uh, it is eight and a half inches wide. And at its tallest point, it is three and a quarter inches wide. <laughs> Rachel says complicated like a lady. And it can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $17 if you give me number 18. Number 18 for $17 gets you the Murano Bowl. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece here. Number 18 for $17 gets you the Murano Bowl. Congratulations to Marlene at White Barn Thrift. You are the winner, 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 Italian dinner. Ma Dukes, what did you do? That's tonight Tonight is the night of the exploding pens. I don't know. I had to get you a rubber glove. That's the second one that's exploded on Tonight? Tonight. What are you doing with the pens over there? Are you getting all, all I guess I haven't used incredible them in a while. hawk on me or something? I think I haven't used it in a while, and they're just like, you know, jamming. And then they're just like, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if that's the reason for exploding pens, but okay. All right. Up next, we have this absolutely gorgeous Keep Her Away from the White Bowl. Yeah. Up next is this absolutely gorgeous. Art glass perfume bottle, controlled bubbles, or in Italian, bullacante. And it does have this absolutely fabulous top. Look at the, the design on that top. That looks really pretty with the white bowl. Absolutely stunning. And it does have its dauber, and there's no chip on the dauber. And then it does have the purple on the inside with all of the control bubbles. I don't know if I can get it to focus. Show them the detail of the lid. There it goes. See all the control bubbles there? Absolutely gorgeous. You can really see it on the bottom too. Fabulous piece. And it does measure to be about five and a quarter inches tall with the top in. And it can be yours for the absolutely stunning low price of only $19 if you give me number 17. Number 17 for $19 gets you this absolutely gorgeous art glass controlled bubbled perfume bottle. Beautiful. Congratulations to Lynn. You are the winner, 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 perfume, bulacante dinner. Congratulations and welcome back to the party. All right. So I'll tell you guys a funny story. So, you know, I'm sure everybody uses replacements. I Mostly you use replacements for, um, for like confirmation on, on a specific pattern or a piece from a pattern. Um, you know, like say something measures at eight inches. Is it a cereal bowl or a soup bowl? Because a lot of times the prices are like insane. And I'll tell you, like, in, but even though some of them are insane, you usually know that you're like in about 50% less than what their price at. I went and I saw this piece on replacements. And then you'll never, you will not be able to guess how much replacements is trying to sell this piece for right now. How much do you think? Oh, $60. More. No. Yeah. 75 More. Get out. $100? $99. Get out. <laughs> I swear to God. It was crazy. So this is a imperial glass. As you can see, it is marked right there. Hey, look who it is, ladies and gentlemen. Josie is checking in in the building in the chat. So this is made by imperial glass. Um, it is the grape pattern. 
and it is in a marigold color. Absolutely gorgeous color. Is um, this is a pickle dish is what it actually is. It's an absolutely gorgeous piece. I love the, the, the edge, the rim on that. And you just, the double handles, this little sleek shape, absolutely gorgeous. And from handle to handle, it measures to be eight mm -hmm. inches and by about three and three fourths inches. And then height wise, it's about an inch and three fourths inches. And it can be yours for an absolutely low price, not $99 <laughs> like replacements, but only $13. $13, number 23 for the Imperial Glass Grape Marigold Carnival Glass Pickle Dish. $99, that's some sugar. That's going to be the best pickles you ever toasted. <laughs> tasted. Tasted, my bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Number 23 for $13 gets you the Imperial Glass Grape Marigold Carnival Glass Pickle Dish. An absolutely gorgeous piece of glass. Only $13. Remember, replacements trying to get you off for $99. <laughs> Over the years, only $13. Number 23 for $13. All right, we'll take it to overtime. <clears throat> okay, up next, we're going to do, I'm sure, oh, Pete will take number 23. Congratulations, Pete. You are the winner, 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 $99 pickle dish dinner. Congratulations and welcome back to the party. I'm sure everybody in this room <clears throat> has seen this salt shaker before. Hey, big shout out to my man, Bill. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you for the $10 super chat. Says, going to try and get some sleep. It was good seeing you guys. We'll talk again soon. Be well, all. Bill, you are the man. We love you very much, brother. Thank you very much for the support. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, keep doing what you're doing, Bill. You're doing a great job, buddy. We love you. <clears throat> and so everybody has seen this salt shaker pepper shaker in their kitchen, in their grandma's kitchen, in their parents' kitchen. This is like what? You screams what? 60s? 50s? 50s, 60s. Yeah. 50s, 60s. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's made by Owens Glass Company. And you'll see it does have the O on the base of the shaker. So these are the Owens Glass Mid-century modern salt and pepper shaker. Um, there's only retro. one of them. Retro. It's super retro. And it's definitely the original lid, too. That's a good shape. Yeah. Uh, the shaker does measure to be five inches tall. Uh, and it is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And it can be yours for the silly low price of only $7 if you give me number 20. Number 20 for $7 gets you the Owens Glass Super Mid-Century Modern Retro Salt Shaker. Congratulations, Mr. L. Page. You are the winner, 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 shaker dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. Up next, we are going to go. We're going to go to France. We're going to go to France. Look at the Limoges. Look at the Limoges. Cobalt blue and gold Limoges. So, yes, this is a cobalt blue and gold Limoges miniature ewer in absolutely fabulous condition. It is the Castel Limoges. As you can see when it focuses. Damn. Come on. Hey. Cool. Cool. Way. Got it. I got it. Oh. Turn the light off. Will that help? No. Okay. Oh, you're getting close. Oh, you were getting close to your left, a little to your left. There it is. Lemos Castel 
France. So yeah, these some of these pieces, depending upon their shapes, can go for as much as $30, $40. There's a sewing machine one that goes for a lot of money. And I forget the other one. This one typically sells for anywhere between $15 and $20. Um, it has the cording couple on the front. And it has the gorgeous, the flowers all the way around. And it is a really gorgeous cobalt blue and gold. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous piece. And it measures to be at its tallest point about four and a quarter inches. And I'm going to give it to you guys for a steal of a deal for an absolutely low price of only $11. If you give me number 22, number 22 for $11 gets you the Castle Limoges France. Cobalt blue and gold ear. An absolute steal of a deal, ladies and gentlemen. Only $11. Really yeah, it's in fabulous condition. No wear to the gold at all. Number 22 for $11 for the Limoges. Cobalt blue and gold ear. Uvertan? Uvertan. All right. It comes to Uvertan. Next up, I really love this piece. Gorgeous piece of ceramic pottery. Absolutely fabulous matte glaze. Excuse me. The detailed uh, embossed chain ring sides to the vase. Uh, there is no marking on it, although it is eerily similar to that Coors pottery uh, vase that we sold recently. What's going on, Joe? Philly Picker's in the building. Another one of my buddies. If you guys aren't subscribed to Joe Philly Picker, please make sure you guys do so. He is the man. So an absolutely awesome <clears throat> matte glaze vase with the embossed ring handles, eerily similar to Coors Pottery. If you guys uh, know, we talked about that a few weeks ago. It's definitely got some age to it. Really, really beautiful piece. Um, it does measure to be five inches tall. What's going on, Maria? Yeah. And it can be yours for the absolutely incredibly low price of only $11 if you give me number 20 Four. Number 24 for $11 gets you this absolutely gorgeous mid-century modern matte glaze vase with the ring handles embossed on the side and steal of a deal at $11 on this piece. I mean, it is a gorgeous matte finish it's on like this. It's kind of a lighter green it looks like. Yeah, it's like a celadon green again. Gorgeous. Over time. All right. <clears throat> yes. Up next, we have doo -doo 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 -doo, this gorgeous 1930s pink glass paneled swung esque bud vase. Very, very gorgeous pink. It's that sort of it's got a little bit of peachy to it, but it is primarily pink. Has a really nice definitive lines along the panels. Nice ruffled, little bit of swung to the to the opening of the vase. Absolutely gorgeous. Has the bottom sundial um, design on the base of the vase. And this beauty does measure to be 10 inches tall at its tallest point. And you can take home this absolutely gorgeous pink 1920s, 1930s paneled ruffled vase for the absolutely low price of only $15. If you give me number 15. Number 15 for $15 gets you this absolutely gorgeous 1920s, 1930s pink paneled, ruffled, swungish vase. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this piece. Super simple, super elegant, but very gorgeous. Mm. <clears throat> Overtime it is. We got a nice little lineup here for overtime, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right. Up next is the bird. 
It is the next bird. Here we have a gorgeous blue bird. And it is hand painted, as you can see. It's got the flowers on the belly and the flowers on both sides. And it says, Cherish each day. Well, I was going to wait till it got uh, focused. Now you can read, <laughs> Cherish each day as a precious gift. So here you have this beautiful blue bird with the hand painting and the message. I had never seen one like this before. Um, so I had to scoop this up immediately because. I, I you always, blue, so yeah, it's a very nice blue, but you always see them just plain. I, I hadn't seen any with the designs on them before, so immediately I grabbed it and I said, You know what? I think they're gonna like this. So here you have the blue bird with the hand, and it's also painted on the top, too. So you got the flowers on the top, on both sides, and the belly. Nice polished base, too. <clears throat> And Rachel says, I would take that paint off with acetone. You're not the first person that said that. I said that too, didn't I? Yes, I, I yes, you did. It's not even so much the paint, but the live, laugh, and love stuff on the side. I would All right. It measures to be three and three-fourths inches from beak to tail. At its tallest point, it is two and a half inches, and it can be yours for the absolutely low price of only... $19 if you give me number 14. Number 14 for $19 gets you the bluebird with the flowers and the lovely message. Number 14 for $19 for the very unique bluebird with the flowers and the message. And we're going to overtime. overtime. Okay. All right. Up next, glass. here we have the gorgeous uranium glass bowl. This is made by U.S. Glass Company. It is the diamond band and floral pattern. You can see the diamond band and then the flowers. And it is a definitely a lighter green. Um, it is... Probably this is getting close to 100 years in age. Uh, the bowl does measure to be, it's probably a berry bowl. It does measure to be seven and three fourths inches wide by three inches tall. And now we will show the glow. Oh, yeah. It is. It really is. Absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't even do it justice. Yeah, look at how detailed the flowers look when it's glowing. It's crazy. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. You really see the details in the flowers when it's glowing. That is cool. And it can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $19. If you give me number 16, number 16 for $19 can get you this vintage U.S. Glass Company Diamond Band Floral or Floral Diamond Band Uranium Glass Bowl. Congratulations to dear Angela's Vintage. Angela, winner, winner, Floral Diamond Band Dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's time for overtime. All right. So overtime, you're going to have one last chance to purchase any of the items that were not sold originally. I will give you a discounted price. And if it's not bought at a certain time, it will be moved to eBay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first up. Occupied Japan clay base. Focus. 
There you go. Made in occupied Japan clay vase, chocolate brown miniature flower vase, seven dollars. Number twenty one for seven dollars. Gorgeous piece. Look at that. Very different, unique. Made in occupied Japan. <clears throat> Number 21, Pete, congratulations. You are the winner, 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 Occupy Japan dinner. Excuse me. Congratulations. Welcome back to the party. All right. I can't believe this one didn't sell. This the, uh, There's a few of these in here I can't believe didn't sell, but you're going to get a chance. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. $11, number six for the mid-century modern pink and blue glaze, unlegible marking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Russell Wright yeah. style. Congratulations to Marlene at White Barn Thrift. You are the winner, winner, winner. Mid-century modern dinner. What's going on, Book Be Witch? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Irene, make sure you're uh, refreshed. This is another one I couldn't believe so. This Noritake hand-painted landscape nut dish. I mean, look at the details on this thing. It's like an oil painting on ceramic. Number 10 for $11 gets you the Noritake nut dish. Number 10 for $11 gets you the gorgeous Noritake nut dish. Number 10, congratulations to Viking Treasure Horde. Unless you're a new name, that's your first time buying. Congratulations. And that is a beauty. It is a beauty, yeah. Make sure you send your information to the email scrolling across the bottom of the screen. All right. Next piece is the Limoges. Only $9, number 22 for the Limoges Blue and Gold Miniature Ewer. Limoges Castles, Limoges France, number 22 for $9. Cobalt Blue and Gold Limoges France piece. Congratulations to Marlene. You are the winner, winner, winner. Limoges France dinner. <clears throat> Up next, another piece I thought was going to fly is this. Beautiful matte colored number 24, nine dollars. This is definitely, I want to say it's coarse pottery, but like I said, I just there's no marking on the base. Gorgeous embossed ring handles on the side. Number 24 for nine dollars. Congratulations to Marlene. You are the winner, winner, winner. I'm cleaning up an overtime dinner. <clears throat> Up next is the 1920s, 1930s pink depression glass era paneled, ruffled, swung S. It's got a little bit of swing, not a lot of swung. Vase can be yours for $13, number 15. Number 15 for $13, this 1920s, 1930s pink paneled vase. Only $13, number 15. Number 15 for $13. This 1920s, 1930s paneled, ruffled top pink vase. Going once. Going twice. Going to eBay. Oh, wait. Did we miss something? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that, Marlene. Yeah, I didn't see that. We got it. Pete 124. Pete 124. Sorry about that, Pete and Marlene. It got skipped over, but my Duke's in on it. Josie's on it. The chat's on it. I appreciate you, Marlene. That's Pete's repeats. <laughs> Pete's repeats. You did win that one. And then Marlene is getting number 15, the vase. Thank you guys for clearing that all up. Appreciate you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Now we're down to the void. Oh, yeah. And then last but not least is the bird. I'll give you guys a, a crazy discount on this one. We'll go $15 on the blue bird with the flowers and the cherish each day as a precious gift. 
$15 for the blue bird with the flowers and the message. Congratulations, Larry. You are the winner. Winner, winner. Cherish each day. Dinner. Cherish each day as a precious gift dinner. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we just rocked and we just rolled. I want to thank you guys, as always. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. We will be back at it. Uh, 15 on that one. We will be back at it again soon. Uh, I'm going to try and get some videos out this week. Things have just been really hectic with uh, life. And I still got to get my car fixed and packing orders and just I'm, – I'm getting there, guys. But we got some big news coming up soon we're super excited about. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed their evening. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. We really do appreciate it. You guys are the best. We would not be able to do this without you. Thank you for spending your Monday nights, your Monday afternoons with us. Um, I know there's a lot of other things you guys could be doing, but uh, it, you're here with us, and we really do appreciate that. So everybody enjoy the rest of your night. We will see you guys soon. As always, YouTube, stay classy. Peace.